Psalms chapter 58, verse 3. Reading on the right-hand side of your screen, as you can see, which is the New Living Translation, King James Version on the left. These wicked people are born sinners. Even from birth, they have lied and gone their own way. Verse 4. They spit venom like deadly snakes. They are like cobras that refuse to listen, ignoring the tunes of the snake charmers no matter how skillfully they play. Break off their fangs, O power. Smash the jaws of these lions, O Lord, power. May they disappear into... May they disappear like water into thirsty ground, make their weapons useless in their hands. I'm going to give all praises, all the glories to Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, Bashem, Kahakwadash, the Blarner, to the apostles of Great Millstone, the Holy Commandment Keepers, the brethren, the brethren, teaching, prophets, prophesying. Those of us who await the knowledge of the truth, rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord's power, especially in the Judges 5.11, in John 14 and 15, keep my commandments. Shalom. Now, I have not uh, produced a video on this channel in about a week. And, um, getting to me. Um, but, y'all be shooting showers. I spirit was showing me things around my area, things that are to be, things that are have been prophesied upon. Um, also, showing me a little bit more, um, showing me some other methods of purses that have been set up. And I'll do a video on that a little bit later on. Um, in fact, right after this video, I will. I want to do a video on um, on what, how, how how can I phrase it? It, it? It's really bribery. That's really what it is. It's bribery, and it has to do it has to do a lot. But I can give you this. I can give you a fistful of dollars for this, this, and this. Something to that effect. Um, when I first had heard what the young man had said to unto me. I said to myself, I said, you know what? If I were to do that, I'd get a fistful of dollars, but I would be, it's almost like I'm I'm so wrapped up in running after that purse. And the brothers preach on that from time to time. Meaning that in so many words, you have the ability to get a fistful of dollars. I mean when I say a fistful, I mean good old two, three, four thousand dollars. And that's that's legally, and you can legally do, seemingly, it seems legal. The Bible says, our scripture says, there's a way that seems right into a man, but at the end thereof is either death or destruction, I can't remember. So, when I first heard it, I didn't like it. I didn't like the way he had pitched it to me. Because the way I understood it, I said, man, that's really... Illegal. But anyway, um, he presents it as legal. He says there's nothing wrong with it, but that's not right. And that's not really possible, if you will. So anyway, that I'm aware of. I mean, you could, okay, let, let, let me break it down for anybody who's, who's really listening like that and wondering what it's about. He said that there is a way that he can go into a site that is owned and operated by the government. It, and actually, the site, so I have the site saved to my home screen, so I can do a video on it, um, uh, and its terms and conditions, where you can legally Uh, get between two thousand and thirty five hundred dollars back in tax refund money. Um, 
on behalf of doing itemized deductions and things like that. And I do realize that when you, most of us who go do our tax online, turbo tax, we do standardized deduction, you know, get your family state and get on that work. And you might owe the state some money, whatever, they take your money. You know, they take any state refund income that they have for you and they apply it to that debt that you might have. Maybe you might owe a hospital or something like that, a bill or something like that. You just start a payment plan, but fail or, or discontinue to pay it, and they'll apply that to your loan. I mean, to your bill, you know, your debt, child support. Y'all know how this go. <laughs> Whatever, but you can get a federal un, untouched. And I have found that so interesting to me. And um, I was about to uh, take him up on that off. I said, man, I'm not doing this. Because it seems like bribery. You don't even have to have no W2. And you get 3500 I mean, don't get me wrong now. I know of programs that, that where people who get disability or SSDI disability. $900 a month, and they file taxes, and they get money back. Not, they're filing taxes, but in some form or fashion, they qualify for something. Either they purchase, um, I don't know, um, energy-efficient windows, or maybe they modernize their home and got more green, you know what I'm saying, like green technology, so to speak. Something, you know, I don't know. Maybe they collect rainwater and use the water the garden. I don't know. Whatever, it's so many things that qualify for green technology, tax credits and rebates, right? But anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. I just wanted to do a video on this thing about this damn moon landing. Now, <laughs> I just don't understand how, um, but anyway, I, I do understand. You know, they have stated that, oh, uh, yeah. Excuse me, America wants to be number one in everything. It wants to be the best, the smarter at everything. And um, that's just not so. Okay, we are find out in Scripture. Let's first go to 1 Timothy 6 and 20. This is going to be a very, very quick video. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read first Timothy six and twenty, left hand side. Oh Timothy. Keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. Let's catch that in uh, New Living. Timothy, God what God has entrusted to you. So guard your heart with what God has told you, how things are, what are things like. For instance, Revelation 1 and 20 says what? Um, let's read this and go back to it. Well, no, let's come here. Let's do it. According to Revelation 1 and 20, the stars are angels. According to sciences, the chem uh, physics and um Physical science that you may encounter in high school and college according to physics, quantum physics, a star is a big ball of goddamn gas. That's what they say there. Okay, let's get it. Oh, no, goddamn, goddamn. Let's get back. Um. Come on, Lord, I ain't asked you for that. Can't help me ask you. Which one is one? Come on, man. What's up? All right, Revelation 1 and 20. All right. The mystery of the seven stars, 
which you saw us in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars, are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks, which you saw us, are the seven churches. Now, according to scripture, angels are stars. Look at that. See it? Yeah. But according to according to um excuse me. There it is. Angel comes from the Greek. Strong's G32. Angelos. Angelos. Angelos, which means what? There it is. A messenger. Okay. All right. A messenger on by one who is sent. An angel, a messenger from God. Messenger, especially an angel by implication. A pastor. What? Pastor. The word pastor, which um, is formulatory of the word um, preach, means to announce, to claim, to... Published to declare, to make known, calls to know, huh? Call Ilam La Yahaw Mishim Shabishim Kahakudash. What else we got there? Angel Pastor, right? So, as you can see here. Now, um, when Joseph woke up, he did as the end of the Lord commanded. Took Mary and his wife Matthew 124. So as you can see here, um, there are many, many scriptures that are listed which use the word uh, angel or star. Okay. Yeah. That's that. So and even and even the, the, the scriptures that come up on Matthew 124, which actually um is comparative of look at that. See? And he considered this Matthew 120, he considered an angel of the Lord appearing to him in a dream, Joseph, son of David. The angel, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. As you can see, okay. So an angel is a mess all day long. Let's go, let's go to Google right quick. Find out what the story is. According to their definition... The wicked ones that are in charge now, the ones that are in charge of Babylon the Great, the ones that are ruling over us, the ones that are setting us up for a bunch of traps, the ones whose skin look like raw chicken skin, that's who, who, who. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Yeah. Who, 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 who. That's that. Right? Now let's get going here. Uh, uh, define star. You can boost it. A fixed luminous point in the night sky, which is a large, remote, incandescent body. Like the sun. Well, they've cleaned that one up, haven't they? A conventional, verse 2, under the picture. A conventional or stylized representation 
other star typically one having five or more points. Okay. Uh ah, look at that as a verb. Well the word verb is uh, the word verb it used the word star being used in a ver in the sen in the form of a verb is something like, okay, so and so and so, guess what? Yeah, the new movie's coming on TV next Wednesday, and it is starring, okay, because that's what it means right there, a person of a movie, a play, or other thing. Have someone as a principal performer, okay? But the Lord just says, I can do nothing of myself. I do these things because the Holy Spirit which I put in, in me. So Yahweh B'Shem Shah is also a performer. He is performing. Pursuant Jeremiah 1 and 12 says he will hasten his word to perform it. That's a performer. Isn't he a performer? He is a performer. Right? <laughs> um, there it is again. Yeah. Oh, we movie. Or play. Okay. Can you see it? Mm. Of a movie, play, or other show, have someone as a principal performer. She is a performer. Is he not a performer? The Lord says, when I come, I return, when I meet you as a man, I will come as an angel of light to bring forth all my glorious works. He will be a performer, right? Jeremiah 1 and 12 uh, tells us he will wait. He sends word to perform it. Let's get it. Let's bring that out. Because that's something we can do, can't we? Jeremiah <clears throat> The Lord Power said, that's right. And it means, that's right. And it means that I am watching and I will certainly carry out all my plans. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Have he said it? Will he not do it? Numbers chapter 12. No, I'm sorry. It's like it. Numbers chapter um, 23, verse 19. I'm not a man that I should lie, nor a son of a man that I should repent. Have I said it? Will I not do it? Question mark. Will I not make it good? Question mark. Hello? Anybody heard me? Now, let's wrap up because we don't want to do something long. Let's wrap up. First Timothy 6 and 20 says, let's return back into it. Oh, Timothy. That's when he started screaming, oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science. Of once false is so-called, which some have professed, which some professing have error concerning the faith. Grace be with thee, our mind. Now, what that basically says, what we just covered in Revelation 1 and 20. He says, um, avoid vain babblings and opinions of sciences so-called. When we look up the word sciences so-called, you come up with the word Gnostic, which is knowledge of the heathen one. Okay? Right, let's get that as well. And we'll close out with Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 7. Y'all know what I'm here to with this. Because I have brought the truth of it all things. Let's get this here. Sciences. Knowledge. Strong's G, 1108. Gnosis. 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 The knowledge signifies in general intelligence and understanding. That's, the, that's when he says, with some professing, have erred concerning according to the faith. Because you got all these damn degrees, 
And you really believe in that the world is where it is. And based on what they've taught you, based on what you've learned, based on what you have degrees upon, based on what you've given all your money to the damn devil. The devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. He is the father of lies. And the father of it, John 8, 44, you of your father, the devil, you will do the lust of him there also. He is murdered for the